So because of my job, I travel a good amount of the year, from CES to Computex and a bunch of other small events. Now as much of a burden traveling can be, nothing makes it worse than clutter, and that's why I try to minimize the amount of cables I carry with me. From self-maintained wallet battery packs to tech jackets, I mean everything has its place and usually more than one function. If you're a long time viewer then you might know that I've been carrying around the SoDrop from Ghost Tech as my travel headphones, and they've been serving me very well with no problems for about a year now. So when I saw that Ghost Tech released the SoDrop 2s, obviously I had to pick them up and see if they were a worthy successor. Design wise, these two are very similar with a few minor tweaks in a few areas. We now get a more geometrical ear cup design, darker aluminum as well as more color choices, and a softer perforated leather, but more on that later. In the box you do get a hard carrying case, USB for charging as well as an auxiliary cord. The controls are on the right side and on the top we get the power buttons that also function as the play, pause and the phone call controls. The volume control underneath also doubles as track selection when you hold either the up or down button for 3 seconds. They're built well and offer a tactile feedback. Here's also where you will find the microphone, charging and auxiliary port. Here's an audio sample from the microphone. This is a test of the microphone on the Ghost Tech SoDrop 2.0. As you can hear, it's clear and this will be just fine for phone calls, FaceTimes, or whatever else your audio needs might be. It's very easy to find a good fit with the 8 position aluminum sliders. And overall, it sits very snug on your head and thanks to its flexible design, it doesn't squeeze too tight either. With a single charge, you get 14 hours of music playback or call time and a crazy 540 hours of standby time. The great news is that the new materials improve on the already good feel of the sew drops. I've worn these for 3, even 4 hour stretches without any discomfort thanks to the soft leather combined with its low weight. The wireless range is about 30 feet with no interruptions which is great, but add a thick wall or any more distance into the mix and you will be experiencing drops and even lag. The 40mm driver produces pronounced bass while still preserving the detail in the highs and mids. All genres would go great thanks to this detailed retention, even at higher volumes. But if you're into songs that benefit from high bass like techno and rap, then you're going to especially love the sound signature coming out of these even more. Now when you plug in auxiliary cord, which is included, the bass response does get a bit tighter and the high ends do improve as well. So when the quality matters most, users have the option of going wired if they want to. Now I'm not an audiophile by any means, so the convenience of wireless is what I would choose over the slight improvement in sound. The one complaint I had with the last generation model was the sound leak and the sound isolation, and it seems they took notice. The SoDrop 2 has much less sound leak as well as a greater sound isolation with its new bi-directional noise reduction technology. Now obviously they're not going to compare it to active noise isolation on Bose headphones for example, but they do reduce all noise around the ear, which for me is a big deal since I'm going to be using these again for travel. Here's a quick test of the sound leak with the headphones both on and off. Now these do retail for around $100 MSRP, but if you guys use the code down below, you can get them for only $30 on Amazon. I'll drop a link to them down below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.